All right, welcome back to the sports show on that damn YouTube. Getting right back into it. Going here against Northwestern, fresh off the win in a hell of a defensive struggle, man. I'm telling you, both teams could not move the ball in our last game against Ohio State. That was a slugfest out there. As far as defense, 7 nothing. Barely able to pull out the win. Penn State was ranked number five at the time. So, so far in the season, we've knocked off Colorado, Notre Dame, USC, who was ranked number two at the time. Notre Dame was ranked number 11. And our last win against number five, Northwestern. Only allowed one touchdown so far through four games. Uh, if you're wondering, the difficulty on this is Heisman. So, pretty uh, good stuff there with the defense that we've been able to build. Offensively, we couldn't do a damn thing either last game. Finally, too, it looks like we got a game with no weather as the last two were in the rain. So let's go ahead and check this out here. Hope everybody's ready for that damn uh, snowstorm of death everybody's talking about. Damn, I'm, just, I'm so used to playing Madden. I was an X to kick it there. There we go. Yeah, snowstorm of death is a coming tonight. I think it's supposed to start about seven, six o'clock currently right now. Guess what? Wouldn't you know it? My ass has to drive to work <laughs> in about about nine o'clock. So I got a couple hours here. So if I don't talk to you guys anymore, it's probably because. Uh, you know, it froze to death in the snow driving to work, so this may be our last episode. Also, too, man, I, and I've been forgetting. I was doing the recruiting out here before I started the game. We were able to land, get his ass. The number one, uh, excuse me, number two running back in the country, five-star of South North Carolina, East Carolina, West, whatever the hell side of Carolina he was on pretty sure it's a pretty big land he might be uh, playing right off the bat next year as we're very short at that position needed to grab a big back like that five star so more than likely he'll be playing next year right off the get go Some option stuff with ass. And I saw a lot of crazy stuff going on, man. The Carl's Correa stuff. Bonkers, right? Supposedly it came down to an old ankle injury he had in the minor leagues. They did not want to resign him over that, or excuse me, sign him to that. Oh, give me that. Hope that flag isn't on us. Hope that wasn't an offside. Come on. Yep, there you go. Of course gonna go one game without having at least one we're probably gonna have three or four if you love offsides you're gonna love this series that we have because we jump offsides about maybe three to four times a game <laughs> but yeah Correa that was some kind of uh, angle injury he had in the minor leagues that they were pinned up on which really got me though was the fact that they still went ahead scheduled a press conference without even being certain that they wanted to sign him because of the medical injury. And that's what threw me off is, you know, if you're really that, don't give me that. Don't get them. You know, if you're that hung up on it, why are you still scheduling a press conference? The Mets go on to slide in, pick him up. Obviously, already got Verlander, signed Brand Nimmo. Pretty crazy shit going on there in baseball. I got it. Oh, you bastard. Man. Northwestern here. That's funny too, as we did a Carl's Korea video right when he signed with the Giants, or we all thought he was signing with the Giants. <laughs> so that's aged great. If you guys get a chance, go on and check some of the videos that we do out here, not just the college football, but we did a Tracy McGrady against Jordan from 2003 did that and uh, we also did Iverson against Jordan I think we did a Barry Sanders from 1998 
against Tampa Bay his last year on the Motor City Kitties. Oh, damn, didn't get the sack, but we're getting the ball back. And then we did Emmett Smith video too after that. I think he had like 237 rushing yards against Philly. Pretty crazy to see the contrast in styles between him and Barry out there. I've probably seen every Barry Sanders game. Anyways, just growing up here in Michigan, so. And obviously a lot of Emmett too, to be on the national stage. Pretty cool to see the difference. Emmett was just looking for contact, but Barry was just dancing around everybody out there. There you go, Parsons. Something going. Let's dive him up the middle right here. You know, I didn't even check yet to see if Dudley came back or other running back we had. It would be right around the right timetable. They said five weeks. No, nope, he's still out. Damn. Had something there. Damn. All right, we definitely should have the speed to go over the top on these bastards. going for it. Screw this. There we go. Hopefully it's not coming in as static as it's been coming in. I still, for life of me, can't figure out why. The only thing I can think of is maybe the wireless controller. Damn. It's kind of getting in the way. As far as the signal, because it... You know, when I'm doing these games, I'm not hearing any of the static feedback. It's only when I go to edit it and... Or at least throw the music on there is when I'm hearing that shit, so... Apologize for that. Believe me, I... It's kind of annoying the hell out of me as well. Because when we do our normal broadcast where we're watching old games and all that stuff, we never have any kind of feedback, so that's what's made me lead to believe it's got to be something with a wireless controller. Oh, I've got another 0-0 game here after the first three or four were 30 point games at the minimum that we had.
right. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know how the hell they gave me that first down, but we'll take it. Miss Dudley are the running back. <laughs> Did not get any separation there. We're going for it again. drop passes if you guys have been watching this series Haynes has I think he had five drop passes last game son of a bitch that was a touchdown man I know he had to kind of get his feet in but come on Nuts, man. Those last two guys, I don't know what's going on with us offensively. We've been in a rotten, rotten. There you go, Mr. Cooper. Northwestern have this much team speed. Oh my god, I had L1 wide open downfield streaking. Western wild bastards. Son of a bitch. Go ahead and leave some comments if you guys want us to do any more games. Uh, once you're going through and check out the channel, we do all kinds of old hockey games, basketball, football, 
baseball, all that cool shit. Been on a Jordan kick lately with him on the Wizards. We've done uh, two videos the last couple of days on that. Give me that, finally. That's how we're scoring our points. <laughs> Best defense in the damn country. Yeah, I wanted to do it is do some old NFL primetime videos, like from the mid nineties would be cool to do. We did a couple old baseball tonight. From I think ninety-four. I think it's the season that we did a couple of them way back in the summer. There we go. God damn, that took forever. I always forget. I don't even remember forgetting the ball on that after the half. Let's kick that shit out of this. Ooh. Oh, do we get the ball back? Oh, we did. Nice. Let's try to go over the top again here. He got taken out. Shit. Pass. Got that right in there.
can't move these damn chains here. Go. The converted safety to wide receiver gets a run inside for a touchdown. Shot right there. Oh, oh, oh. got your ass. Initial championship game, or excuse me, playoffs coming just right around the corner here for college football. Can't wait to get that going, see how Michigan does against TCU. Then you got Georgia against Ohio State. Pretty damn good matchups here. Imagine Ohio State Michigan national championship game. Man. Safeties have such good catch-up speed on here. Came over the top, the bat had away, he had a clear run path though. Safety came out of nowhere. Not that worked great. You gotta keep this shut out intact. Took a shot. Nothing doing for Northwestern against this defense. <laughs>
Oh, they gave him the first down? I can't complain as much in response as we've been getting the entire year. Let's wrap this game up here. A stomping on Northwestern's ass. 20 nothing. As expected, though. Offense starting to be a problem here the last two games. Now, against Penn State, number five in the country, I kind of expected a little bit of a grudge match there as far as the ability to move the chains. But on this one, man, Northwestern, what the hell do we got going on here? I can tell you right off the bat, though, it's the problems of running game. Got him again, man. And I'm so used to just running the ball more and just blasting them for 150 plus yards, but. You know, let's try to put that, uh, that safety we got. Let's see if he can play running back. Can't hurt. Such at this point, I can't do nothing with Parsons. Uh, if I could even put him in here. Now let's try Campbell. He's got some blazing ass speed. Let's see what we can do with him here. You know, so plays he doesn't have to break tackles, he can kind of hit that edge. Shit, he can break tackles a little bit. Let's try and run him up the gut. Now he may have an opening here to the left. Sorry, Parsons. I know you got to feel like hell having everybody replacing you. Now you got a damn cornerback coming in to play running back, but we need something here. and he's gone <laughs> to the house. All right. 51 yards to Gates.
Oh shit. Oh come on, get his ass. Get his ass. to be honest with you. I'm expecting him to go down a lot more than he has been. about wrapping this up there's Michigan's gonna be moving on to what we're gonna be five and all I think at this point five and oh <laughs> as Michigan knocked off Northwestern 28 nothing I don't think the score really reflected the kind of struggle we had in offense here as they obviously had to pick six for a touchdown first score of the game didn't have a point in the first quarter. Picked it up there, though, in the second half. Run game still awful. We'll go ahead and check out some of these numbers and uh, call it an episode. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's bad. About, what, 50-something yards of offense? Spread the wealth definitely here on offense, though, as far as passing. Look at all these freshmen, sophomores. Defensively, though, that's definitely where we stood out. Put it on their ass. Two sacks for Houston. Henderson had two sacks. Pick six for Chaz Mason. Good deal. All right, guys, made it this far. Thanks for watching. We'll get another episode here at some point. See ya.